I'm recording. Welcome to West Coast Mass Holes, everybody. I'm Todd Anderson. That is Josh Wingate. Look at them guns. Look at them mass hole guns. Bro. Do you think if you stayed in Massachusetts, you'd have guns like that? Are those LA guns? No, see, if I was in Massachusetts, I'd probably be dead by now. (laughs) I'd probably be uh, in prison or dead (laughs) by now. And if I was alive and not in prison or dead, I'd be fat and like alcoholic. Okay. Yeah. Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? Maybe I would be a UFC fighter. Who knows? Yeah. Could be one of those. Yeah. Yeah. Take my violent tendencies into a something that at least pays. Yeah. Who, who knows? knows? Then that could lead to a job on the Mandalorian. And then you could say a bunch of dumb shit about... <laughs> the holocaust not being real or whatever and then you can get <laughs> fired oh god she sucked anyway she's like the worst actor in the world anyways man she's so bad i was like so joyed when i read that i was like yes just so, you, here's what's the that? thing here's the thing about steven soderbergh whose movies i i greatly love for the most part and 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 i certainly like him and respect him but he gives us so many performances from actors who aren't very good in like one good movie and then we would mistake them mm. for good actors after the yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and she's yeah. like haywire is a great example of a great movie and but like like she was so like apparently her voice is so annoying that they had to they took computers and they lowered her vocal register through the whole film so they did <laughs> So she seems really good in Haywire, but it's it's computers. That's the thing. Oh yeah, oh yeah. She's um. Have you watched Mandalorian? Yeah, I like it. I like the series a lot. It's fun, but she's awful. Just like terrible, you know. And yeah, uh, so good, good. I'm um, now. I feel less bad about being judgy. Oh, you know. <laughs> about, about her. Well, yeah. It's, it's nice when it, your like opinions about somebody's talent or or what they're in or whatever actually aligns mm-hmm. with the kind of piece of shit they are when they're not, you mm-hmm. know, on camera. Uh, but so often that doesn't happen, does it? I mean, we we no, always no. look the other way. You, I I I assume that because you're from Massachusetts, you're probably a big uh, Patriots fan. And you were probably mm. all admirable of Tom Brady, the goat. But you know he's uh, he's straight up a Nazi. So you know what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? You gotta you gotta compartmentalize. Yeah. He's really good at football. Oh. He loves Donald Trump. That sucks, you know. But you know it's nice when, <laughs> yeah. it's nice when they yeah. align. Like when, you know somebody gets fired. I know, and the problem, and the problem I have with Brady is he's never rude to anybody. You know, he's never like I've never seen, at least I've never seen or heard him be disrespectful to anybody. No, he's very. He's always, smart. He carries himself very well. Yeah, yeah. he's yeah. he's a very smart man. Yeah, um, but you know, it's mm-hmm. and and he tried to kind of distance himself from his. Uh, a buddy ship with Trump at one point, but it didn't work mm-hmm. because he kept make America uh, great again hats in the background of interviews. It's just, you know, there's a lot of, there's a lot of that, you know, I mean, yeah, like people that you don't, cause they're not, you know, Mel Gibson, like screaming uh, racist yeah. things in a recording or whatever, like mm-hmm. somebody caught on camera. It's just, you're going with their public persona, but if you pay attention, there's little chinks in the, you're like, what? Uh, what's with this you know the little chinks in the armor it's like well he seems like a cool guy but he's got a parlor account sort of thing you know it's like yeah, how, yeah, yeah. how do you how do you you can't it's like well if the guy's a gun nut in a parlor has got a parlor account it makes you think well maybe this guy's not as cool as he seems in the dinosaur movies i'm talking about somebody else right now uh but you you know what i mean is that a pratt mm-hmm. yeah I just yeah, and I like Chris Pratt. First I mean, new show. Fun. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, then He's I see stuff like that and I'm out. like, nah, 
mm, it's mm. it's easier it's easier when you have someone like a james woods who's on twitter all the time just spouting yeah. all his crazy nazi bullshit then it's it's very easy <laughs> well that guy's clearly out of his mind and he's an asshole mm -hmm. whereas somebody who's like more even keeled and gives great interviews and doesn't say dumb shit on twitter all the time but then you see these little things and you're like no no <laughs> you. yeah i know it's 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 sad but i think you know a lot of these guys are smart enough to keep it hidden just enough just enough like where there's like a there's like an acceptable amount of that that people will tolerate Mm -hmm. like you know uh pratt and brady for exist for example yeah or you yeah. have like you, like matthew mcconaughey and, and russell brand having that conversation about how the left is always condescending to the right in the united states of america and i was like yeah shut up now you're just you're you're just basically admitting that you're a trump supporter right now you but he's not though he's more he's, he's more point. Keep I think he's my he's he's much more liberal than anything. I think who he's M McConaughey. Yeah, I think he is. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. He loves to really drive, know. and he's from Texas. And he says yeah. weird things like 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 condemning the everybody who's left leaning for being condescending is that's a weird thing to say. It's just weird. Yeah, yeah. He must have watched your stuff. What? <laughs> <laughs> You represented everybody on the left. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not. You can't look to me. I'm definitely not. Uh, you know, I'm a single issue voter, uh, which is not certainly not popular on the left at all. But I am. Uh, I hate Nazis and I vote that mm -hmm. way. Um, yeah. Uh, in a very dedicated way. So I, I don't think I'm I'm representative of the left at all. Mm. I'm very much my well, own bizarre thing, I think, at this point, politically speaking <laughs> yeah but i side with your your stance i i you know i don't really get into politics in a policy way ever you know but if you're a hate-mongering nazi yeah chances are you're not getting my vote and i'll well, probably and, vote against you and when when people from regardless of of which way they lean ask you you know about voting if you say well i'm a single issue voter and my single issue is i hate nazis they're not going to say anything to you you don't have to have a political discussion defending <laughs> after that they're like that's great even nazis in this country will go oh geez yeah no, that's important because you know, <laughs> they don't want to admit they don't want, they don't want yeah. To admit. <laughs> yeah that's great i'm gonna use that from now yeah. on yeah mm -hmm. it's easy that's funny yeah, because uh, what did I think Serrano? She was talking about how the politics right now are remnant of Nazi Germany. It's like, uh, no, they they were. Yeah, you're, you're a couple month, months late to the thing, you know. Republicans love yeah. doing that. You know, they wait like after they've been accused of something, then they pick it up as their mantle and start throwing it, it you know, back the other way. But it's stupid. It doesn't make sense. You you. I mean, that is in itself as nazi as you can be accusing mm -hmm. other people of being the nazi that you are of doing the nazi yeah. shit you're doing that's what nazis do it's, it's yeah. just it's it's how they behave mm -hmm. i read this great <clears throat> follow-up to the whole um you know uh space laser thing and uh well, you remember you, the space, space laser, laser conspiracy yeah i was yeah, really mad when I and we out. all laughed my, my wife is Jewish and we don't have any Do space lasers. I'm like, why not? No, we didn't get one. Yeah. Well, the point I'm going to, the point I'm going to make is what I read too, which actually made me think beyond the absurdity of that. Right. Because it's absurd. Right. And we all laugh about it and there's memes about it and everyone's joking about it. Uh, and somebody brought up a great point that that is actually normalizing negativity with Judaism. You're normalizing the negativity. It's absurd. Like they, Nazi Germany, they were like, Jews are monsters, Jews are devils, and they drew these drawings. And it's absurd, right? Mm -hmm. There's all these absurd things that they attach to it. And initially, the Nazis were laughed at by the standard German folks and like, oh, that's funny, that's stupid, that's absurd. But the normalization of the negative attachment to Jews is as old as 
time can be when it comes to that. So somebody wrote this great follow up to like, hey, just be careful about, you know, reiterating this absurdity because it's so absurd. We're actually doing the propaganda for the hate mongers. Mm -hmm. We're actually doing that by going, <laughs> making jokes about it, um, which I'm guilty of. And, and, and it, because it's freaking absurd. You know, mm -hmm. my wife, yeah. wife to be is, is Jewish and her family is Jewish. And I freaking, you know, my stance on Nazis fucking slam elbow <laughs> smashed in their face. So I even joked around it with them and they all thought it was funny. So like, it's so like absurd that it is funny, but it's a normalization of negativity attached with Judaism and Jewish. Yeah, so that makes it's something sense. to think about. It's something to really think about, you know, it's like lizard, like uh, Alex Jones, he was attaching every, like, he'd be like, Oh, I've been around Obama and Hillary and they smell like sulfur because that's associating them with being demonic. It's like absurdity. But you're associate. You're not saying it, but you're associating it. And you're putting that out there. The next thing you know, we got liver pe lizard people in the government running it, each sucking the blood off of children in pizza parlors or whatever. Mm -hmm. So it's like, and people actually believe this because of this association. And then, uh, you know, never mind the racially charged stuff that goes along with it. So it's interesting. It's really interesting how um, that type of propaganda can seep into the masses without even the masses realizing they're spreading the propaganda you know right. what i mean because uh, so. well it's a it's a fair defense mechanism i think against yeah. that kind of absurdity to make jokes about it um, yes uh, that's I mean, what comedy is for right yeah and yeah. and yeah. and when you talk about um you know the left and the way we deal with uh the right and and it's onslaught uh, 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 trying to take down democracy all the time is we joke about it and we make fun of mm -hmm. it. That's, that's one of the things that we do every time, you know, a right wing pundit or comedian or whatever tries to do their version of all the different shows, political shows that the left has, it always fails because they're not funny because they, mm -hmm. you know, they generally don't punch up, they punch down and the, and the you mm -hmm. know, when the left makes jokes, we punch up, but it, yeah, mm -hmm. it's, that's a really important thing to think about is when you make jokes about these things, uh, it, it is perpetuating them. I mean, I agree. That's, it's, yeah. like, it's a hard, uh, it's a hard thing to sort out. I think mm -hmm. uh, speaking of, of Judaism, I, <laughs> I, uh, I was watching the, the impeachment trials and I was watching the opening statements of, of Trump's uh, defense lawyers, the, the first of which has had the defense that senators are great and he gets lost in the Capitol building. That's what he said. That didn't make any sense. But then the other guy who made more sense, the second guy made more sense. Uh, but it, like every time it, like he would drink a water and he'd go like this, and which struck me as funny because, you know, Donald Trump drinks, needs two hands to yeah. drink water. So I made the joke that Republicans and their lawyers suck at drinking water. But then, <laughs> then I found out after that the guy is a conservative Orthodox Jewish person. And even though he didn't have a yarmulke on, he had to hold the top of his head when he drank because of, that's like a, like normally habit. you'd have a yarmulke. To, I guess that yeah. I think there's a, a symbolic reason for it, but then the practical okay. one is your yarmulke doesn't fall off. So wait, wait, where I got held up was Orthodox Jew representing Trump. That's where I got. Well, kind of hung well, up. that's that's the weird thing about conservative conservatives in the united states there's a lot of conservative jewish people pro-israel jewish people who if you if mm -hmm. you uh are are uh, at all critical of the israeli government or netanyahu or whatever uh they're yeah, yeah. being anti-semitic uh and that's that's where you know there, there's such ties military corporate ties between the united states government yeah. and and the israeli government that of course there's always this show of the importance of not being anti-semitic uh but it, it it's it it creeps me out because you know the, these conservative people are voting against their own interests here because they want things for israel i i mean i like that whole thing yeah yeah, yeah, is, yeah. is bizarre uh to me but that's yeah there there are, are, are a lot of conservative jewish people in the united states and they're one of them's mm -hmm. representing donald trump 
because he was, I'm sure, a Donald Trump supporter. I mean, if you're a single, like, that's why I say I'm a single issue voter. I hate Nazis because there are single issue voters who vote only to support Israel, regardless of what it does to anybody mm -hmm. in this country. Um, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's just, yeah, it's, it, it's uh, weird, I think. Mm -hmm. I, I would agree. Those lines. I mean, it's like when I, when I meet like uh, uh, queer people who support pr Trump, I'm like, blah, 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 what? Yeah. So it's the same thing. Yeah. Like, blah, 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 what? Mm -hmm. They exist. It's weird. Fun fun fact about yours truly is years and years ago, I did a announcer, VO announcing thing for the uh, Log Cabin Republicans. Um, and the Log Cabin Republicans are uh, lesbian or gay Republicans. And uh, I, it was... It was very strange. And <laughs> um, it yeah, is shut weird. up, George. Yeah. But Arnold Schwarzenegger was there and everything and talking. And it was like, I, I always, I just felt like it was uh, at one point, like people were going to come out with like these cameras and be like, ha ha. Like it was a joke, <laughs> you know, like it was, it was like one of those, you know, set up things. I mean, hey, but they paid me, you know, they paid me to come and use my voice to introduce people. I just sat in the back of the room and introduced people and, yeah, I found that to be very, um, very ironic. That is, but I guess this, ironic. yeah, because I think it was during, um, geez, that must have been Bush Junior's uh, reign, and uh, you know they had very, they would, they had their, they they got really religious right during that time. His guy was super anti you know homosexuality and everything so i always found that crazy and he's the guy who got found in a in a motel with a, a gay prostitute and crystal meth right that isn't that guy. isn't that always what happens it's always what happens i know it's like me thinks thou does protest too much yeah it's just like when nazis say they're not nazis uh mm. spe speaking of which, <laughs> speaking of which, we gotta say goodbye the west coast massholes and we do it how we do it Fuck you, Nazis. Fuck you, Nazis. There it is. West Coast Massholes. This has been a Blursch production. Blursch.